my pirate sailing song, right, Jack? Well, sure, because, you know, pirates work on deck, too, just like sailors. But I don't do work, Jack. What does that mean? He's your slacker. Hey! That's why I'm a pirate. I know. All right, so this is the kind of song that sailors and pirates would be singing while they're working on board the deck. That's right. Laboring uh, I know, we're right there. It's labor intensive. Pirates are in what? Only Pittsburgh what? pirates. I don't think so. Only Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Only so the there's a work line in this song. You got to sing it with us. No. It goes like this: Hooey, haul away. We'll haul away. That's your part. That's easy. That's easy. Hey, Jack. What? Who's Joe? Uh, that girl right there. You're Joe. She is today. <laughs> hey, Joe. What do you know? Hey, Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? Really? <laughs> and everybody under 40 goes, what? Yeah, someday they'll <laughs> learn to appreciate Jimi Hendrix. I appreciate Jimi Henson. Uh, Does that count? Two? Jimi Henson? Jimi Henson? Yeah. I've never heard of referred to as Jimi Henson. <laughs> well, All right, give us a beat then. You like this. You clap your hands if you want. That's right, we need your help. Come on, clap. I was a little lad, or so my mother told me. Tell me, we haul away, we haul away, Joe. And if I did not kiss the girls, me lips would grow all moldy. Yeah, we haul away, we haul away, Joe. And we haul away, we haul away together. We haul away, we haul away, Joe. And we haul away, we haul away for better weather. We haul away.
Raise your hand! Hook or stump, that counts. Hook or stump. That's right, all right, we're gonna get this thing started. Who do we have up here with us? Jack. Everybody. Everyone's here, that's right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and welcome to the stage someone that we have had a privilege to have with us here yeah. at our festival this season. However, this is their last day with us. Oh, I know. I hope you guys have been over to the Drift today to see them. If not, you're gonna get a treat, and here they are. Welcome to the stage, Sarcopalia! Hello, fellow travelers. How are you guys feeling? Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to sing? We're just going to get uh, Jake hooked up here with the ye old Epiphone viola bass. Sounds good. All right. Sweet. You there? Should I go to, should I go to this mic on the end, Jenny? Can you hire it last? It's been an honor to be here and travel through. Thank you, thank you all so much for your support, energy, and enthusiasm. All right, are we are we ready?
you, you go see their CDs right over there. See the lovely lady holding them up in the air. This is your last chance to take them home. Make sure you grab that CD. Can I take them home with me? I think one or two of them may be available. Yes. You know you're going to have to go and ask them. Okay. Just to let you know, the offer stands. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're going to go ahead and move right along. We have a lot of really great musicians up here on stage. And uh, who's right? Okay. Menagerie. You guys all right with your son? All right, baby. We're going to go ahead and have these guys up. They're a couple. They've been playing here at the Medieval Fair for as long as I can remember. You better know all their songs because they're all amazing. Put your hands together for Menagerie! up here on stage. Who is ready? <laughs> Nobody. All right. Miss Judy, are you ready to come up and play something? All right, you guys. We love to have a little fiddling around here on stage. Don't let us be the ones to say that we don't love that. Please put your hands together for Judy from.
of Miss Judy Phil. Fantastic. All right, now, I hope you guys have had a chance to hear. What? Me too, but then again, all the songs too. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I understand. All right, the next person we're going to have up here for you guys is a real treat. You guys haven't heard him over on the old world, the loop of the festival. Make sure you go and visit him. We love to hear the music of Mr. Terry Griffin. We're all like technical and stuff. <laughs> farewell to the fair, farewell to the good times, farewell to the music and people who care. Farewell to my comrades and likewise the ladies. Now I am a rover, farewell to the fair. I once was a singer of minor renown. Spent happiest days when the fair came to town. I played all the old songs, the happy and the bold songs. Now I am a rover, no longer around. Farewell to the fair, farewell to the good times, farewell to the music and people who care. Farewell to my comrades and likewise the ladies. Now I am a rover, farewell to the fair. The fair was a wonder of sight and of sound. From the joust to the pub where the good friends abound. We drank and we sang till the rafters all rang. At the end of the day, we gather around. Farewell to the fair, farewell to the good times, farewell to the music and people who care. Farewell to my comrades and likewise the lady. Now I am a rover, farewell to the fair. If you visit the fair, please keep in mind. The good friends and good times are not hard to find. Don't grumble and complain when we turn to the Monday. Remember the rover who left it behind. Farewell to the fair, farewell to the good times, farewell to the music and people who care. Farewell to my comrades and likewise the ladies. Now I am a rover, farewell to the fair. Now I am a rover, farewell to the fair. Terry Griffin! Very good. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, now we've had the pleasure of hearing his musical instrument all over the fair this weekend. No matter where we're at, we can hear his instrument all over the fair this weekend, and we love it. Mr. Barrett, the Barefoot Piper, are you here, me darling? I need to hear some piping in my life. How about you? Excellent, well, darling.
See him walking away. Oh. <laughs> All right, not to let you guys forget, make sure you put your hands together for Rio Blue. playing I've ever seen. She's French. She's French. I got a little time. I got some tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, keeping with the theme here, I hope some of you uh, more 18 and older types have been across the bridge lately. There's something going on across the bridge lately. It's some fun stuff. And unfortunately, if you brought your small ones, it's not the place for you. However, for those of you who know, you've heard the uh, wonderful songs of Mr. Axel the Sot. I'm, I'm, I'm plugging in. Let's see if we can hear. You can hear that guitar in the back. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's nice. That's too nice. I don't deserve such niceness. Yeah. I'm going to do a lovely little song for the children, uh, but make sure they don't listen. It, see, he listened. It's a lovely little song called the ABC song. How many people know their ABCs? That's half. That's about the national average. That's all right. I'm here to educate as well as entertain. The chorus goes as follows. Listen and learn and repeat after me. Let's give it a try all together, real slow, and Yeah, that was piss poor. But that's all right. That's, I'm not going to do it any better myself. So let's all sing the, the ABC song. Sing it with that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, now we're going to do some nursery rhymes. Remember nursery rhymes growing up? Who listened to you? Could listen to nursery rhymes growing up, love? Yes, I think so. We all do. These are the sort of nursery rhymes I listen to to make me a drunkard I am today. Here's the first example. Diddle diddle, the cat did piddle all over the kitchen floor. The little dog laughed to see such sports, so the cat did a little bit more. You said you grew up listening to nursery rhymes. Which one meant the most to you as a little girl? What brings back the most precious memories? Mary had a little lab, you say. I can read your mind. It is a precious memory. I'm 
I'm about to destroy, so sorry. Mary had a little lamb, her father shot it dead. Now she goes to school with it between two slices of bread. Yum! I think we need a little nursery rhyme trivia. Who was the most famous couple in the nursery rhyme world? Jack and Jill together at last. Uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jill came down with half a crown and it wasn't for carrying the water. It's getting a little naughtier, isn't it? Oh, I almost forgot to always leave out little Miss Muffet. Let's, let's see what she can bring to the party. Miss Muffet sat on a tuff and her dress all tattered and torn. It wasn't the spider that sat down beside her, it was little boy Blue and his horn. I love this next one, but it might be too obscure. Does anybody out there remember Georgie Porgy? Oh good, they're a lot funnier if you know the way they're supposed to go. <laughs> Georgie Porgy Puddin' and Pie, he kissed the girls, he made them cry. When the boys came out to play, he kissed them too, he was funny that way. I've saved the best for last. Jack B. Nibble. What could go wrong? <laughs> Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Silly boy, he should have jumped higher. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. my crap. Thank you, Axel. It's always a unique experience. Excellent. Well, all right. Now we're going to celebrate someone who has been here with us since